Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Incan, MKZ. And if you have any of the following two codes, I'm talking about code P0443 or code P0444. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. Now, why we mention these three vehicles? Because they use the same drivetrain. Practically, if you have the hybrid engine, it's exactly the same in all these three vehicles, guys. If you have a non-hybrid engine, the procedure will be very similar as well. Well, so let's go ahead and explain what can easily cause these codes and one of those uh, things guys it's something that most people never check before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make it a used to 300 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos another thing if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts tools uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so let's go ahead and show you guys okay what can do that number one thing okay as we said it could be two things that can easily cause that uh, the number one thing okay if you open your hood guys okay that's the engine right here you can see and if you look right there okay we have everything pretty loosened to remove that holes out of the way so you can see it but you have that device guys that attaches to the intake manifold which is really close to the radiator fan so if you're working there um, i would recommend to disconnect the car battery because that radiator fan can turn on anytime and cut your hands fingers off guys and you can be in big trouble so uh, what i will recommend okay to check the video guys that explains which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first because if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the electrical system modules computers and that can cost you thousands of dollars to fix especially on those hybrid modern vehicles guys i'll put a link to a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first with that being said if you look guys right here now okay you have that it's called purge control valve the purpose of that valve guys is uh, uh the fuel in the fuel tank the gasoline when it moves or heats up from the temperature it will expand it will create fumes back in the day they used to be just released in the atmosphere and it will stink around your car practically like gas now we have a special device that catches the vapors it's known as the canister it brings them to the purge valve when you have enough pressure the engine computer will activate the purge valve which is practically on and off valve and it will inject the fumes in the intake manifold from there they will burn through the engine the engine will be more efficient less polluting and uh, good for the atmosphere guys good for all of us so that's the purpose of it but if it malfunctions guys or you have a leak somewhere in the line or it malfunctions or you have unplugged wire or a leaking valve purge control valve that will easily cause it the valve is really easy to replace we have a video that explains how to do that but if you want to see how to test the purge control valve okay we'll try to put a link in the description of the video below that explains how to test purge control valve and find out if it's good or bad if it clicks it doesn't mean it's good you need to make sure that it holds pressure the second thing that can cause guys any of this code is if you come okay to the fuel door okay let's go ahead and open the fuel door quick i forgot that we need to open it from inside with a switch so we'll go ahead open it and here guys you don't have a cap on the new engines new cars it's capless okay right here capless back in the day you could blame these codes on a fuel cap right because you had a seal around the fuel cap this one guys okay the seal is integrated around that okay flap right here you will see there is a no ring on the inside when you open it you can kind of like see it that o-ring if it fails if it's dirty if it's not sealing correctly you can get get these codes as well if that cap is not holding pressure because it has an integrated valve in it that will release the pressure if it becomes too much and the purge control system is not working that can cause the problem as well uh, now i'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get a new cap form if you need to hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time